Hello guys, my name is Kayla, and I'm not sure about you, but I grew up being taught that the law was done away with. It's just for the Jews. The Jews have saved us from the law. But is that true? Up until a few years ago, I thought so, but let's see what the Bible says. Since many pastors teach Jesus abolished the law, made it so we don't have to follow it, let's look at what Jesus himself said in verses after Jesus' death. Matthew 5:17 Don't assume that I came to destroy the law of the prophets. I did not come to destroy, but to fulfill. For I assure you, until heaven and earth pass away, not the smallest letter, one stroke of the letter, will pass from the law until all things are accomplished. Therefore, whoever breaks one of the least of these commandments and teaches people to do so will be called least in the kingdom of heaven. But whoever practices these and teaches these commandments will be called great in the kingdom of heaven. In this verse, Jesus flat out tells us to not think he came to abolish the law, but to fulfill it. Fulfillment is different than abolish. While I'm driving legally on the road, I'm fulfilling the law, but that does not mean the law is done away with. Okay, well maybe we're somehow misunderstanding it. Is there any more verses that support our understanding of this verse? Matthew 7, 22. On that day, many will say to me, Lord, Lord, didn't we prophesy in your name, drive out demons in your name, and do many miracles in your name? Then I will announce to them, I never knew you. Depart from me, you lawbreakers. Matthew fifteen three. Matthew 28, 18-20. And I'm not going to list all the verses, but just some that I know of. John 14, 15. John 15, 10. What about Acts? Remember Peter's dream? Acts 10, 15. I was always taught by pastors this was about how now we can eat anything including pig rabbits etc well you can read the whole thing but in summary that's about people not food read it yourself the answer is in acts 10 28 through 29 what god has made clean you must not call common Peter said to them you know it's forbidden for a jewish man to associate or visit a foreigner but God has shown me that I must not call any person common or unclean. That's why I came without any objection when I was sent for. I've talked to pastors who have used Galatians as a reason why the law is done away with. But let's see what it really says. Galatians 3.13 Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law by becoming a curse for us. Galatians is simply saying we're not saved by the Torah. We never were. But that doesn't make the Torah done away with. Romans 3.31 asks if we should still keep the law, even though it doesn't save us. It never did. And here's the answer. Back to John 4.14. John 5, 3, and John 2, 1, verse 6. God loves us, and he gives us his law for our own good. They still apply to us today, and although they may be overwhelming at first, they are blessed. I hope this video has helped you and challenged you. Please comment your thoughts and opinions. Yeshua loves you and test everything. Bye, guys.